When you're an individual founder and you're building a startup team, you're really looking for people who are domain experts and complements to the skills you bring to the table. The goal is not to replicate skills rather than to diversify skills specifically aligned with the biggest risk areas or core competencies you need for that company to be successful. So for example, if you're in the healthcare space and you have absolutely no healthcare experience and you're building IT software in the healthcare space, if you're coming from a background in marketing where you know how to do sales into your target customers and you've sell, sold software before but you have no healthcare expertise to understand that domain, typically you'd want a co-founder or a head of sales or a marketing team that understands that process. So you want to complement your skills. The same thing goes for a consumer company. If you're a, a head of marketing in your past life and you have extensive marketing experience um, to do pay for, pay for performance acquisition to bring in users, but you don't have the product sensibility, the product vision, and the product depth, really you want a co-founder or really strong PM to be able to complement your marketing capabilities because ultimately you're not gonna have product market fit unless you have a stellar product that's catering to the needs of consumers and understanding the insight that you're unlocking with what you're delivering to those consumers. So it, you want diversity of capabilities and if you're an individual founder, certainly uh, there are people that are Renaissance men and women, but they oftentimes don't have every skill within their tool belt. And so you wanna find those other tools that you need and you want to find great complements to your capabilities, and that's really building a team. Ultimately, a startup is not an individual. It's a collection of really talented folks. And if you build it around that particular individual, that key man or woman could run into a situation where they're no longer with the company, and there's lots of circumstances of that, and you're left with everybody else. And the fact is that a great startup is not an individual. Um, it's a collection of this team. And if you have that team, you can institutionalize those capabilities and not have the success or failure of the company really dictated by one individual.